Number 30. Heat is added to boiling water. Explain why the temperature of the boiling water does not change, but then what does change? All right, so phase transitions. This is an excellent question because it it gives you the idea of what's happening when water boils. So what's exactly happening when you have to boil water, um, you know, in order to make pasta or something? So boiling water, right, this is the process of vaporization or to evaporate something. So for boiling water, we're talking about vaporization. And if you're vaporizing something or evaporating something, you're always taking a liquid and turning it into a gas. Now, specifically speaking, since they're talking about water, we're taking H2O, H2O, that is in the liquid form, and maybe I'll just go like this, which is called water. And we're turning it into H2O gas, which is a steam. So H2O gas, we'll bring this down, make it a little pretty. And we're calling this steam. All right. So generally speaking, if you are boiling a pot of water, right? Here's my, oh boy. (laughs) Here's my little, my cup of water, right? Here's the handlebar. And it's on some type of gas or electric stove in which, you know, it gets hot, right? These are the coils of an electric stove that you might have, or um, you might you might actually see the flame, depending on if you have a gas or a electric stove. Um, but inside here is water, right? Oh my God, what a beautiful drawing. But as this is getting hot, right? And I put a thermometer in here, right? Once the temperature of the water reaches a hundred degrees Celsius, that's when the phase change will occur. So for going from water to steam is at a hundred degrees Celsius, and that's when water is going to start boiling and it's going to start getting all crazy in there, right? It's going to boop, 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 (laughs) boop. And if you watch boiling water, which I don't recommend you do, over time, what's going to happen is the water inside is going to get smaller and smaller and smaller. And it will still boil, but the amount that's in there is going to get less and less and less. Because what's happening over time is the liquid water that you actually can see is getting converted into steam, which is escaping the pan, which you can't see. So all we can see with our visual eyes is just the water shrinking away to nothing. But all that the water was doing, the H2O was just being converted from actual liquid to steam, uh, H2O, which if it's an open container um, of a pot or a pan or whatever, Um, It's going to go out into the atmosphere and dissipate there. So now, we are keep on adding the heat. Explain why the temperature does not change. Well, this has an idea of the definition behind heat versus temperature. Now, if we talk about the temperature of boiling water or a temperature in general, right, temperature is either going to be in Celsius, Fahrenheit, or Kelvin. But now a heat value, a heat value does not have any type of temperature units in it. A heat value, which we can see as an enthalpy or an entropy, but in this case, since we're dealing with heating something up, we're talking about a enthalpy value. An enthalpy is always in the units of kilojoules per mole. But the one that's the most important part here is the kilojoule. A kilojoule or a joule, right, is not the same as a temperature value. So if I add heat, since there's no connection in these units to temperature, the temperature would not change. So 
ma- mainly one of the reasons explain why the temperature of the boiling water does not change is because, you know, enthalpy, or the heat, we'll say, has no temperature unit. So there's no relationship between heat that's applied and temperature of the solution at your phase change. So we'll say unit, no change at phase change. And the phase change is change is the process of going from a liquid to a gas. It's a physical property. Also, um, basically, if we do talk about heat, it's not necessarily a temperature that's changing. It's the idea of a joule value, specifically a kilojoule value for talking about enthalpy. But this is a energy value. So, in essence, when heat is being added to the boiling water, the temperature does not change because the heat is being absorbed by the water. And it needs that energy, if we consider heat as a energy value, it needs the energy to shoot itself from a different phase, from a liquid to a gas. And by doing this, it's overcoming all the intermolecular forces. As your water is getting less and less and less in the pot, the intermolecular forces, especially hydrogen bonding, is being broken down, and that's why the gases can escape, because the kinetic energy is increasing in the molecules, more movement, and that allows the water molecules turn to steam and come out of the water. But now, you know, what does change, right? So we talked about one thing in general. The only thing that we can see in this phase change is that the actual H2O liquid decreasing, right? It's decreasing as the heat is applied because if you add more and more heat you have more and more energy to convert the liquid into the gas to break those intermolecular forces and become a gas so this basically answers the question and i hope this helps you out let me know in the comments thank you so much for viewing the video subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out and i hope you're having a great day out there let's keep working hard studying hard I'm proud of you guys. Good luck on your tests, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.